Well, guys, I just wanted to show you. I'm fixing uh, some liver and onions to go with my carrots, and I've already made some uh, creamed potatoes. We all know how to make creamed potatoes. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut. I only took out one piece of liver because I bought it in the packages where um, they wrap it individually. I do need salt and pepper. But I thought that would go good with my carrots today. And that's just a little bit of flour. put it right on the meat because sometimes it gets lost in the flour. Come over here and put some oil in my pan. Get that heating up. One thing about it, they slice their liver pretty thin when they put them in those individual packages for some reason. I don't know why they do that. Can't really see what I'm doing, can you? I'm just flouring my liver right here. Put it over here to the side. in here and get this other piece. Woo! That itch. Now we'll come over here and put it in the pan, try to cook it up. I don't know how tender my carrots are getting. And they're about half done. Cook them a little bit longer. <coughs> Forgive me on the coffin. I am just so full of allergies today, it's not funny. But this is how I cook for one person. I buy the liver that comes in the package that's individually wrapped. So you only have to take out one piece at a time. And this is basically one piece. I just cut it in half so I could get it in the pan better. And you know me, I saved my flour for my gravy. Wash my hands off in there. Dump this plate out. Put it in the sink. And I gotta come over here and cut my onion. Y'all know how to cut an onion. <laughs> I need a better knife than that one. Because I'm just going to put uh, onion slices in with my liver. 
because I like liver and onions with brown gravy. separate it all. Ooh, and hope they don't burn your eyes. <laughs> That is a powerful onion. That's going to be plenty enough onion for my liver. Let's see if I can move this camera without hitting everything in the house. And it takes very little time to cook. Liver. And if you wanted peas to go with this, you could definitely put, open a can of peas. You could uh, cook green beans. I'm just going to have liver, onions, brown gravy, mashed potatoes, and carrots. That's going to be my dinner tonight. Put some garlic powder. But liver is something that cooks pretty fast. Raise it up just a tiny bit. Now I'm going to make my gravy.
put onion powder. That was garlic powder, I'm sorry. Now this is onion powder. Just puts a little bit of added something to it. <laughs> And let's see if I can find my browning mix. I'm going to put just a little bit of browning in it. Not much. I'm open it. Doesn't take much, not even a half a teaspoon. And it'll give you a pretty ground gravy. put our onions in because they've got to cook down. I'm also going to put my liver back in. And I'm just going to slow, you know, cook it till my onions are cooked. Now, I don't want to cook that too fast because I just want my onions to cook and my gravy will thicken up as the onions cook.
get one of the thick pieces out and see. Yeah, it's just about done. They'll be done by the time my carrots are done. I mean, by the time my onions are done, my carrots will be done. I'll be ready to eat, y'all. Just want that to slow cook a little bit. Potatoes are looking good. water. Uh, nothing better than some good old cold water on a hot day. so good. I know we put onions in here, but when you put garlic powder and onion powder in it as well, it just gives it an added flavor. Don't tell me how it does it, but it does. Because it seems like the onion powder and the garlic powder taste a little bit different than the fresh garlic or the fresh onion. It just adds something to it. And I'm still doing research on my door, so as soon as I can come up with a really good technique in cutting the door and not destroying the door, then I'll get started on my bedroom. But I'm going to do the door first. <laughs> right or wrong, I will do the door first. I get over anxious, y'all. I want this to hurry up and cook here. It's just looking so good. Mm. Looking so good. And I'm getting hungry. It's almost dinner time. And I have to apologize for the, the central air running, my exhaust fan running, and all the noises. But it's just so hot, you can't help it. You gotta have the exhaust fan to help pull the heat out. You gotta have the AC running, or you'll die in here. <laughs> so.
landslide, y'all. Turn that up just a tiny bit. Just a little bit of carrots in my, I mean, a little bit of butter in my carrots. <laughs> Now my son would eat this, but he would not eat it with the onions. He would eat the gravy, the potatoes, the carrots. <laughs> There's dinner, y'all. Fresh carrots out of the garden. 
liver and onions on cream potatoes. Try one of these carrots first. Y'all want one? Looks good. Mmm. Pretty good carrot with a little bit of butter. Get some liver and some onions now. And try not to drip it everywhere. Looks good, y'all. Mmm. That is so good, y'all. Mmm. Fix y'all some liver and onions. I think you'll be glad you did. With fresh baby carrots right out of the garden that I salvaged. <laughs> I know this is a short video, <clears throat> but it doesn't take that long to fix this meal. You know, I had my potatoes already fixed. I had my carrots done. So thanks y'all for hanging out with me and sharing another meal. Bless every each and every one of you. I love all of you. Uh, thanks for taking the time out to watch my videos. Please like, share, and subscribe to my videos. Y'all have a blessed day. I will see y'all my next one. Bye now.